What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So today we actually have a really long video. I'm going to be reviewing the Painted Polish Rainbow Chip Realm Collection, which is actually two parts, so 16 polishes total. But before we get into that, if you haven't heard of Painted Polish before, they are an independent nail polish brand that is based in the US and all of their polishes are five free, meaning they are free of five of the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found in nail polish. And they're also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. So last month, Painted Polish came out with a nail polish collection called Rainbow Chip Realm Part 1, and we had eight polishes, all speckled and in a rainbow of colors. And this month, they came out with Rainbow Chip Realm Part 2, which is another eight speckled nail polishes in another rainbow. So today, I'm going to be reviewing both of them because the shades are relatively similar, and I want to be able to compare them side by side. So I am going to swatch them all, and then we can do little comparisons. There's pretty much two of each color, and Part 1 is pretty much the lighter, more pastel kind of shades. And part two is the more bold, saturated kind of shades. So yeah, we've got a lot to go over. We may as well just dive right into it. So let's roll the swatch footage. So as always, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today, it's the Orly Bonder base coat. So I'm kind of swatching these in a weird way. I ended up doing it in rainbow order instead of going by collection because both collections are a rainbow. One of them is just a pastel rainbow and one of them is a brighter rainbow rainbow. So I'm going to do them basically side by side. I'll have comparisons where you can see all of the part one collection, all of the part two collection, and then you can see the counterpart shades side by side. So it might get a little bit confusing, but you'll see first I do the part two, which is the brighter, more saturated color. And then second, I'll do the part one, which is the lighter, more pastel version. So this one's called Bubble My Yum. This to me is sort of the classic pink. It's light, it's bright. It has a nice level of saturation to it and this one had a really impressive formula. It gave me perfect coverage in two coats and I love those matte black flecks in there. I love how some of them are a little bit more faded in the background and some of them are a little bit more vibrant in the front. Moving on we have the shade Cotton Candy Crush and this one this is actually part of the part one so you'll see the way that I'm reviewing it it basically goes part two part one part two part one but yeah this is sort of the pastel version of the pink polish so we've got this light pastel pastel baby pink kind of base. And then again, we have all of those matte black flecks in there. And usually with a light color like this, I expect it to be a three coater, but this one actually ended up giving me great coverage in two coats on my short nails. So I didn't see any visible nail line through and I still feel like I got a lot of great depth with those flakies, some of them looking a little bit more faded and some of them looking a little bit more bright. So now let's move on to the orange shades. This first one is called Papaya Don't Preach. And you can see it's this really vibrant, really saturated orange base. And we have the black chip flex running throughout. And I was immediately fascinated by this color. I think even though it's a little bit brighter and more vibrant of a shade, it's definitely giving me a little bit of a Halloween vibe with the orange and black. And I personally love Halloween and I love Halloween nail polishes. So I was very excited about this one. The formula was so impressive. It actually covered up my visible nail line in the first coat, but I did end up doing two coats for full coverage. And I think it looks really gorgeous. So was very excited about this shade. I just love those little black flecks. They're always good. And then we have the second shade, which is called Just Peachy. And this one is the lighter, almost pastel-y kind of orange base, again, with those black flecks in there. And again, I was really impressed with the coverage on this one. It wasn't quite as pastel as the pink version, but it still gave me perfect coverage in two coats and it looked really beautiful. I feel like this is almost like a good neutral kind of color, even though it's not actually a beige or brownish base. It still gives a very subtle color onto the nails and it almost just feels like an office appropriate color, but with just like a little sprinkling of extra fun in there. And also I feel like I could get away with wearing this on Halloween too. <laughs> Moving on to the yellows, we have the shade The Bee's Knees and this one is a super bright sunshine yellow base. It actually has a little bit of sheerness on the first coat, but I ended up getting full coverage in the second which I was so impressed by. This shade is just so bright and saturated. I did not expect to love it as much as I did, but this actually is my favorite out of all of the rainbow chip polishes in the collections because there's just something so bright and fun about it. I love that vibrant yellow color. And usually I love yellows, but they don't always work well with my skin tone, but I found that this one did look really good with it. So I was very excited about that. And then we have the lighter pastel-y version. This one is called Bananas For You. And this 
this one is a lighter, less saturated yellow base, again, with those black flakes in there. And it's actually a pretty subtle difference. This one isn't too much less intense than the bee's knees, but it still gives a very different vibe. This one definitely is giving me a little bit more of that banana feel or like a speckled egg kind of feel, but it still surprisingly gave me full coverage in two coats, so I was really impressed with that. One thing to note about these black flakes is sometimes they do stick up at like a little bit of an odd angle, but once you pop on a good thick top coat, it'll smooth everything out really nicely. Next up, we have the greens. This first one is called Guac My World, and this one is a bright grassy green base with the black flecks running throughout. Again, we had that situation where it was a little bit sheer in the first coat, but it ended up giving me full coverage in the second, which I cannot tell you how impressive that is for a Crelly formula. I think Painted Polish has just nailed it. But what I especially love about this one, the base color isn't neon, but somehow when it's next to the black flecks, it almost looks like it's a neon color on the nails. So I think it's just such a beautiful shade. I love the color combination. And of course, they couldn't make a green polish with black chips without having a nod to mint chip. So next we have Mint Chip Madness, which is a really soft minty green base that is absolutely packed with the matte black flakes in it. And again, just really impressive coverage. A little spoiler alert, all of the polishes in this collection did end up giving me two coat coverage, which again, is just very impressive, very easy to work with. Now, I do have a few shades that are this sort of color where it's like this mint chocolate chip vibes with the black flakes running throughout, but I will say this is the most packed I have seen out of any of the brands that I own, so I was really impressed with that. And I also just like that bigger variety of the shapes. So the flakes in here really vary from almost like a medium size into an extra small speck kind of size. Now, the next six shades are all blues, but they do have some differences, which I think you'll see a little bit better in the comparison chart. But first up, we have the teal shade. So this first one is called Teal With It, and it's a really bright teal base color, and it has the black flecks running throughout. Now, again, it's not too saturated of a color, but it's kind of just like a medium bright kind of shade, if that makes any sense. So we're not veering into neon territory, but still somehow when you have these bright colors paired against the black, it makes those bright colors look even a little bit brighter. So I think that's really fun. Again, this one was two coat coverage. And then we have the shade Teal or No Teal, and this one is more of a softer, more pastel teal color. It has almost like this grayish undertone to it. So it's a little bit more desaturated. And of course we have the black flecks running throughout. And again, this one was two coat coverage. I think this one is really stunning. It's sort of that classic kind of bird's egg speckled look with that soft pastel-y background color. So it's a really gorgeous shade. And again, I just really like that variation with the size of the glitters in there. Now moving on to the more sky blue kind of colors. This first shade is called Deja Blue. And this one is honestly, I would just call it a bright sky blue base. And then we've got the black flecks in there. Again, just really impressive formula. This was another one that covered up my visible nail line in the first coat, but I personally wouldn't wear a Crelly polish in one coat, even if it was full coverage, just because one of the exciting parts about a shade like this is that when you layer the different layers onto your nail, you're seeing the black glitters kind of get pushed back into the background where they're almost grayed out and it really adds so much dimension to the manicure. So it's something I love about Crelly's. And then we have the shade Sky High, which is just a lighter, almost baby blue kind of base color with the black flecks running throughout. Again, just an amazing formula. I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but I really can't get enough of this painted polish formula. I think it's just so smooth and easy to work with. And it really has the perfect consistency for every different formula I've tried, but they have especially nailed the Crellies. It's just something they do really well. But yeah, this is just another gorgeous blue. I love the final look. Again, it kind of gives me this bird's egg vibe to it, but it's just so vibrant, even though it's that pastel-y kind of color. So it works really well. And then the final two blue shades in these two collections are the more periwinkle leaning shades. They have a little bit more purple in the base. So this first one is called Blueberry Bliss. It's this really gorgeous, deep blue base color. Again, we have just like this hint of a periwinkle vibe in it. It definitely feels a little bit more purpley undertoned than the other blues that we've seen so far. And again, the black flex just adds so much and it 
it almost just makes that blue base color look brighter and more saturated. So it's a really cool vibe. I definitely love it. And I think the shade is just a perfect blueberry color. And then we have the shade Posh in Periwinkle, which is a light blue periwinkle base color with the black flex running throughout. And this one definitely leans a little bit more on the blue side than it does purple, but we still have that purpley sort of undertone and it definitely feels different from the other shades. I know it's hard to see when they're just one at a time, but you'll see a little bit easier in the comparison which blues kind of have which undertones. But yeah, just another really gorgeous shade. And again, I don't know, this one's giving me like a little egg vibe. <laughs> and then finally, we have the two purple shades. This first one is called Grape Scott, which I have to tell you, when I was swatching this, I looked at the name upside down and I thought it was called Grape Scotty. And I could not figure out for the life of me what Grape Scotty was supposed to be a pun for. And I looked it up, couldn't find anything. I called my friend. We were just saying it over and over again, trying to figure out like what it was supposed to sound like. But then when I looked up on the Painted Polish website, so I was like, maybe they'll tell us there. It said Grape Scott. So turns out I don't know how to read upside down. <laughs> But anyway, it's a really gorgeous purple. I thought this was going to be my favorite in the collection just because I love a purple, but I don't know that yellow is speaking to me, but this shade is really gorgeous. So it's probably a second favorite of mine. And I just think that the black speckles contrast so well with that purple base. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade Lilac Lush. And this one is a gorgeous pastel purple base that has the black flecks running throughout. Now that I'm looking at it, I think I actually prefer Lilac Lush to gray grapes got because there's just something about this soft, slightly pinky undertoned purple with the black flex that just works so beautifully. But also these two shades play off each other really well. So it'd be cool to do a manicure where every other nail was lilac lush and then the other nails were grapes got. So I don't know. I just can't get enough of purple nail polish. You know that. <laughs> so before we do the full comparison chart, I just wanted to show you this set of eight is the rainbow chip realm part one. And then this set right here is the rainbow chip realm part two. So the brighter shades are part two. Any more pastel -y shades are part one, but it's easier to see them all together. I kind of made two columns here and I put the corresponding shades side by side so you can see. There's definitely a lot of similarities here, but it's really nice to have so much variety in these black speckled polishes where you can really pick and choose which colors work best for you in each color section. So I thought this was a really fun idea. Personally, I love them all, but we'll talk a little bit more about my thoughts on whether or not you need all of them. <laughs> so those are the polishes. And I have to say, I am so enamored with both parts of this collection. I've always said that I wish there was just a full rainbow of black speckled polishes. It's one of my favorite finishes. I was actually going to do a video on my favorite black speckled polishes, but then I heard about these polishes coming out and I was like, honestly, it's probably just going to be this video. <laughs> Because I already know I love the painted polish formula and I love a black speckled polish and just seeing the whole rainbow, I knew I was going to love them. And I was right. I absolutely love them. Overall, just really impressive formulas. I love the amount of colors that we get and all the just different varieties of each color. So you can really be picky about exactly what you want. And honestly, the formulas are just so incredible. It's just very consistently easy to use these and very good opacity, very self leveling, very smooth, very easy to apply. And because they're the little flakes instead of hex glitters, they do remove similar to regular nail polishes. It's not difficult to remove like how glitter nail polishes can be, which is something you guys ask a lot about. But yes, when you're working with a flaky polish, it does tend to be easier to remove than a hex glitter. I'm not exactly sure why, but I think a part of it has to do with that flakies are a little bit thinner. So they're kind of easier to move off of your nail. Now, do you need them all? Not necessarily. If you're a collector like me, you probably want them all. <laughs> It's really nice to be able to have the option to kind of pick and choose between each collection what you prefer. So like if you're a person who prefers a pale yellow, but you really like a bright green, then you can kind of pick and choose what works best for you in each collection. Personally, as someone who loves a speckled nail polish, who loves rainbow collections and who loves this formula, I feel like I need them all. <laughs> So it's really up to you, but yeah, probably not, but it, it pains me to say that. <laughs> so let's get into pricing and availability. These polishes are all available on the Painted Polish website. They come in 13.2 milliliter bottles and they do feature a wide flat brush that has a rounded tip. So application is super easy. And all of these speckled polishes retail for $12 USD each. And I do have an affiliate discount code, so you can use the code Kelly to get 10% off your whole order there. So I'll put that all in the description. You can check that out if you're interested. 
interested. But I am curious to hear what you guys think of this collection. What do you think of black speckled nail polishes in general? Which of the two parts is your favorite? Do you prefer the part one with the more springy pastel kind of colors? Or do you prefer part two, which has the more saturated vivid colors? Or do you like a mix of both? Or do you like them all? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. And if you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Rocket Man's daughter, Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Courtney. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. I gotta say, I've been recently enjoying doing fun fact questions instead of just sharing a fun fact about myself because I'm liking learning more about you guys. So I'm gonna ask another one. Today's fun fact question is, would you rather be too hot or too cold? And I'll answer for myself as well. I think in general, I prefer to be too hot. I used to always feel like, oh, I'd rather be too cold because you can always put on more clothes. But if you're too hot, there is a point where you cannot take any more clothes off. And sometimes there's really no way to cool yourself down. But thinking about it, I, I'm remembering like the times that I have felt the worst ever is when I am incredibly cold and I just feel like nothing will make me warm. And I think that is a part of the reason why I moved to a warmer climate because being in a snowy environment, I have just been miserable. And even though it is true that there is a point where you can't just take clothes off and you can be too hot, there are ways to escape the heat that I think are just a little bit more bearable than ways to escape the cold. Like for example, if I am too cold, I can go inside and I can warm up by a fire, but I'm still gonna be cold for a while. But if I'm too hot, I can jump into the water and then I will be like cooled down pretty quickly. So I feel like it's easier to cool down when you're too hot and it's harder to warm up when you're too cold. You know what I mean? But I am curious to hear what other people think because I feel like I might be in the minority there. I have a feeling that most people would prefer prefer to be too cold, but definitely let me know in the comments. And maybe I'll do another poll about it on my community tab because I've been having fun with that too. But yeah, that's it. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.